Five, education reform. You say those words together and everybody has ideas. Governor Malloy certainly has them and today he's going to start trying to sell them to schools and communities. Right, yesterday he did a state of the state and today he's getting right down to business at a school in Meriden and that's where Kent Pierce is standing by live this morning. Good morning, Kent. What are we expecting to hear yep. from the governor today? Yeah, well, this is the, really the start of the push to try to get the legislature to pass this. Remember, this is the middle of the budget year for Connecticut, so they're not working on a whole new budget, but they do change things. They do tweak the budget some during this year. One of the things the governor wants to add in is a $128 million education package, but specifically there's $40 million that are going to be targeting the 30 poorest and poorest performing school districts in the state. And that's always a very difficult thing to even have to acknowledge that you are one of those poor performing schools and school districts. But look, everyone wants help. What going to these schools like this? I mean, I guess this is a, a pitch to really sell it to the school community. Yeah, absolutely. And remember, for the most part, schools are funded at the local level. So this is extra state money coming into the 30 poorest school districts uh, so that they can get a little help, just a, just a little kind of kick in the butt to change things a little bit. With this money, uh, they're asking for a promise to actually reform how they teach as well. All right, Kent, thank you. Something, of course, as we mentioned, the year of school reform. We've been talking about it throughout the year.